In Britain, we definitely have a digital skills gap. Um, we have a digital economy that is growing every single year, and every single year, more and more businesses are cropping up, and they can't find the staff with the skills that they need. One of the challenging things about working in technology, especially as a woman, is that sometimes it is a man's world, and sometimes you can be the only person in the room who is a woman. At the moment, only about 17% of people who work in tech or telcos are women. The reality is that for any woman coming into technology at the moment, your boss is more likely to be male than female. So there are two reasons why there are so few females working in technology today. Um, the, the, the kind of overarching reason is the leaky pipeline. The fact that every available opportunity, women drop out of this pipeline with people going into technology. We know this is happening across science, technology, engineering and maths as careers. In particular for technology, there's a lot of research that's suggesting while young people don't choose a career, around the ages of 10 to 14, they do begin to rule out those sorts of careers. You have girls self-selecting out, even though they're qualified enough and they've got the brains and they've got the um, aptitude to study these subjects at university. I think we're doing a lot to attract and retain women in technology, but we can always be doing more because we're starting from so far back. So there's still a lot more that we can do, um, and especially targeting younger women who are starting to think about their careers. Those are the people that we really need to be talking to and showing them that there is a future for them within the technology industry. We were the first year to get offered computer science in our school. Yeah, at first I didn't choose it for my options, I chose music and then my mum got talking about it and then she was like, no I think you should actually really pick up this computer science thing and I was like, no, 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 I don't want to do that, like, I'm not into that, I'm not as smart as that because they were saying, oh, you should have the mathematical brain. So if we look at the toys that we give boys, they tend to be focused around making things, but when you look at the toys we give girls, it tends to be around being a princess, being beautiful, being kind, which are all important things, but also why can't we get girls involved in making things? It's not a female thing to tinker, to build, to be creative in that way, to engineer, to be scientific. One of the key things that we could be doing to get more women and girls into technology is having more role models who are successful or achieving amazing things within the technology sector. People like Ada Lovelace, who were sort of early pioneers and, and women who did amazing things in environments which didn't expect women to do those kind of things and actually made a difference. Um, so her sort of love of mathematics and computations and being one of the you know, early people to sort of you know, create a compiler, that, that's an astonishing achievement. I really admire Dame Steve Shirley, who started a freelance programming business in kind of the 50s or 60s, like a while ago. But I think she was someone who really spotted the levelling potential of technology. But I think there's a lot of other women that they could start portraying and showing to show the whole range. There's not just one type of woman in technology. Actually getting more women to go and speak to young women around the types of opportunities they have available and not just the ones who are aspirationals, the, the sort of the Cheryl Sandbergs of the world, but also those who are just a couple of years ahead who might be in high school or at university or in their first careers. Bring young 25 year old computer scientists and have them speak to the girls and tell them what they do in their daily life. So I developed this curriculum for computer science for some teenagers and I went to two schools that were women only, girls only, and I taught them about Python and how to create a game within two hours. And the girls just raised their hand and they said, hey, this is really cool, so what do you do? I want to do that. And I said, well, it's called math and computer science and you, you can do it if I can do it and you can do it. I think part of the key is finding ways to make coding really relevant to what girls are interested in. Let the young people, let the girls choose why they're doing what they're doing and building. Then they start seeing the purpose of technology and the coding becomes a fun puzzle, something that they can crack to get what they want at the other end. My mum just turned around to me one day, she's like, do what makes you happy. Like, do what makes you happy. And I mean, if being happy, you know, you want to code, do it. Like, if that's what you want to pursue in life, who is stopping you? Like, I don't believe in that there should be any boundaries in what you can and can't do. If you want to do something and that makes you happy from doing it, do it.